The audience, the new style rural construction is a major policy for social economic development, improving the material and spiritual life of rural residents. It also a central and continuous mission of the home political system. Keep promoting the positive results of the revered spirit, thoroughly overcoming the existing weaknesses, seamlessly connecting rural urban area and linking reason, harmoniously developing the economy, the society and the rural environment. Localities in the province are looking for many solutions to fulfill and improve the return of new rural commerce. Along with other localities in the country, the Ning province built new style rural areas to improve the material and spiritual life of rural people, make rural social economic infrastructure synchronous and modern, and to closely connect with urbanization. To have a strong rural economy, advanced production level, professional farmers, highly competitive products, agricultural production associated with trade service and tourism development, and to proactively respond to climate change. Along with that, the province is also aiming for a democratic, equal, stable rural society with a national cultural identity a bright, green, clean and beautiful environment, landscape and rural space, a strengthened rural political system, a well-maintained national defense and security order. The people are the owners and have the right to directly participate, decide and supervise activities in the new rural construction, directly organize and supervise activities, and also be the beneficiaries of new rural construction. We have communicated to the people through meetings with the village management board. The people are very excited to hear that the roads are hardened because it's easier for them to travel and transport goods, particularly the construction and hardening of infill roads will be convenient for people to transport goods and fertilizers. In the near future, our commune will develop criteria number two which is invested by the district authorities with 33 roads. All these roads have been ordered to start construction. Out of 19 criteria for communes to meet new total standards, there are sub criteria that need the cooperation of the people, such as environmental criteria. New rural construction communes are very concerned about environmental protection in the countryside actively coordinating with businesses to invest in centralized waste treatment areas, at the same time encouraging the development of domestic wastewater treatment models at households and humble scale in residential communities. Continue to launch and maintain the campaign saying no to plastic waste. Reuse agricultural waste in accordance with regulations on environmental hygiene and food safety improve environmental landscape, focus on developing models of green, clean and beautiful hamlets as a premise for the long-term development of rural tourism in the province, and step up environmental treatment in places causing serious pollution. Since the new rural construction program was launched, our locality has done very well the work of propaganda, which is accepted by the majority of people. As for the issue of rural transport, we also mobilized people to donate land and truly contributed to repair the roads. Regarding the environmental criteria number 17, we also mobilized people to handle their own waste to prevent indiscriminate litter from being a blot on the landscape. The Ning province currently continuing to complete and improve the quality of its basic infrastructure system for production and business livelihood in total areas towards meeting requirements and improving quality attached to investment in building rural social economic infrastructure in association with urban development, gradually keeping up with the overall development speed of the region, in which creating synchronous connections, especially inter-commune and inter-district connections, expanding and modernizing central infrastructure system at district level, 
focusing on agricultural infrastructure to serve agricultural restructuring, especially infrastructure for irrigation, fisheries, and electronic production, improving the traffic system in the hamlet and commune, completing the irrigation system toward modernization, renovating, upgrading, and expanding the total power grid, completing the system of works to serve the standardization of education in the commune, cultural facilities and total commercial infrastructure. Besides, the province also building, renovating and upgrading the infrastructure and equipment of commune health stations, strengthening the infrastructure for the grassroots information and communication system, newly establishing radio stations in remote and border hamlets communes, Investing in information infrastructure, implement policies to encourage and support households to use telecommunication services, help communes and hamlets connect and apply information technology in administrative management, investing water supply system for civil use, ensuring that the rural population can use hygienic water for their daily life, in which the use of clean water meets the standards of the Ministry of Health, facilitate schools and communal health stations with water supply works and hygienic restrooms, mobilizing people to actively implement the movement to decorate houses and gardens. For completed investment projects, the province will regularly maintain to effectively exploit its functions. The implementation and mobilization of the people are done openly and transparently so that everyone can know how their contribution is being met, how far it's done. We conduct it with the policy, people know, people discuss, people do, people check and the government realize, and the people strongly support it. So when campaigning for clearing petty roads, we get a lot of support from the people. Sunning Province currently planning and repairing projects on building new rural communes in line with the new rural orientation of each commune associated with agricultural restructuring. The development of value chains in accordance with the regulations of the central government, with the social economic development master plans and plannings, regulations on the implementation of criteria for communes and districts to meet new doodle standards, enhance new doodle errors, and model new doodle errors. Implementing the One Commune One Product Program, developing a scheme to accelerate the implementation of the program on building new style doodle errors, maintaining and improving the quality of communes that have reached new doodle standards as required. Towards building 50% of communes meeting new doodle standards according to advanced criteria and 30% of the communes will meet the model new doodle standard out of the total number of communes that will meet the enhanced new doodle standard by 2025. The local authorities will strengthen the propaganda and mobilization of the people, bring into play the power of mass organizations in guiding and explaining to the people so that they will agree with activities in new doodle construction, especially the mobilization of reciprocal capital to build doodle roads in the commune. Right from the beginning, we insisted on propaganda. That's how to make people understand the purpose and meaning of building a new style doodle area. We regularly propagate to it self-governing group, in-group meetings, self-managed group activity. We include that content to propagate so that people understand the difference between the new and the old ones, which is invested by the state, which is the responsibility of the people. So many times, so many years, on people in our hamlet basically know what to do to build a new style doodle area. And finally, people are still the beneficiaries of new doodle construction, so we got strong support from the people. When necessary to widen the roads from 4 to 6 meters, or from 6 to 8 meters, 
people are willing to donate land. Or for example, the installation of street lights. At that time, when the state didn't invest, the people spent their money to install lights for the locals to travel safely at night. From now to 2025, Tanning Province tries to have 26 communes meeting new rural standards, including two border communes. 36 communes meeting the enhanced new rural commune standards, including 10 border communes. 12 communes meeting model new rural areas, including two border communes. Six districts, including Tân Biên, Tân Châu, Yu Minh Châu, Châu Thành, Gò Dầu, and Bến Cầu, will meet the standards for new rural districts and Trang Bang Tao completes the task of building a new rural area. It means 100% of communes meet the standards. The quality of life of rural residents will be improved. The average income by 2025 is 1.8 times that of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, the program Tenen Beer New Style Rural Areas, produced by Tenen Radio Television Station, now comes to an end. Thanks for watching and see you around. Thank you.